But when it comes to the inspiration for the artists, it varies. So some of them are a little bit more into expressing color, expressing techniques, while some are more into self-expression. So you'll notice a couple artworks are focused on colors, are focused on the meanings behind the types of colors, the colors themselves. Mr. Samir Habet, he tends to focus a lot on expression and the facial expressions of people. So when it comes to his artworks, he focuses, he is inspir inspired a lot by street art, street graffiti, and he tries to capture that in the backgrounds of his paintings. And in the foregrounds, he tends to capture the expressions of people. So he, there's a sense of happiness in some, sense of longingness, sadness. So each piece from him has a varying emotion and it's up to the viewer to interpret that emotion. The artist, Miss Tiara Glenn, is a current student at St. John's College and she focuses a lot on technique. So she tends to focus on the patterns and brush strokes, the colors and capturing a sense of realism in her artwork. My artwork itself focuses on interpretation by humans. So all of my artworks are abstract in a sense. So it's up to the viewer to interpret the art based off their own personal experiences, their feelings. So someone might interpret a piece as a flan inspired piece, but someone else might interpret it as a galaxy. It's all up to the interpretation of the viewer. So it's really important for the artist to see that support from locals here in Belize because as artists, we tend to feel very isolated when it comes to our artworks. We're usually alone, painting, doing our photography. So seeing people come out and appreciate that artwork, give you feedback, helps you realize that you are appreciated, that your artwork is not just in vain for yourself, but it is supported by people.